Hey guys, and welcome to a uh, mod preview. I guess a map preview, really. We haven't done one of these for a long time. This is No Creek Farms for FS22, originally by No Creek. Um, now in FS22, it's kind of a conglomeration between me, JMF, and Swatch, who have done a update to this map. Um, the original converter for FS22 was a Shabin. I think it's Shabin modding on Facebook, um, but Shabin did did the original convert, um, go check him out. But this is kind of me, Swatches, and JMF's kind of little update to the map and kind of bring it to the quality of FS22 the best we could. Um, there's still some things on this map that aren't great. Um, this wasn't a, at least for me, it wasn't a huge project to take, uh, take hold on. This was kind of a uh, spur of the moment. I think all three of us just kind of jumped on this and uh, wanted to work on it, so. That's kind of where we ended up, and I, at the beginning, beginning of this, I didn't know if I wanted to even do a video for this. Um, it's not really a huge release for me. Um, I know people are kind of clamoring for a map. Uh, I've had plenty of people come to me and ask if there's going to be a map for me. I've been busy. I don't even know if I can make a map right now, so I thought I would jump on this and kind of help Squatch and JMF out and uh, kind of get the ball rolling. Um, I think those two kind of got inspired by what I was doing as a kind of fun little project for myself. And, uh, well, we ended up here. So, this is not the uh, the buy point for your vehicles here. I moved that back to its original location. This is still just the co-op here. Um, I don't know if any people are going to remember this map. For those who don't know, this is F from FS17. Um, this is No Creek Farms set in, I believe, central Missouri. I forget the location. Um, I honestly never really played this map. It's not my favorite. Um, this was kind of a thing Squatch and JMF really enjoyed. Um, I was doing this up so I could do an edit to it and make it my own kind of thing. But, uh, yeah. So, to start you guys off, I'm really I'm not super sure what all has gone into this map anymore. Um, I did a lot of the visuals and then kind of left it to the other two. But, I will go ahead and just do a quick preview here. Um... You have one cell point location on this map. This map is fairly basic, I want to say. Um, it's a good map for sure, but it's, it's fairly basic. Um, I believe you have a line by point. You have extra fill types, wet cake, and cracked corn for those who like to do that. I think Squatch said he has a video on his YouTube of how to add that to Maze Plus. So you can do kind of everything together, which will be really, uh, really nice. Um, but you have your lime buy point, I believe your fertilizer buy point, uh, I believe even your fuel buy point is over there, your fertilizer, your seed, everything is up here. Of course you have your one sell point for your crops, and then you have the auction house here, where JMF has added um, his uh, kind of special, special little thing where he has cows walking around here, sorry for the noise, I've been uh, mooing, but... Yeah, that was something special JMF wanted to do. I need to get him to do that for me for a couple things as well. For other projects, but something he kind of took on himself and did. Which is really nice of him to do. Trying not to cough here, guys. I've uh, haven't been feeling the greatest, but I thought I would at least try and do this. So you guys at least knew what you were getting into. So to start this off... Um, I updated the map from the original, uh, I believe Shaben had used Map FR instead of Map US, which gives you the French maps um, textures. So I uh, went ahead and changed that around. And then, other than that, I uh, added trees to the border. Um, not the greatest, I haven't decided if I like them. They're in a transform in the map if you guys want to remove them. I honestly am not in love with it. I, I can't decide if I like the old texture, but that's why the original border is still on the map, or the trees. Uh, I tried to set those trees back off the, the field as best I could. Um, you guys can kind of decide what you want to do there. It's super easy to get rid of. And then, other than that, I did all the deco foliage on this map um, from scratch, basically. Let me turn down the truck. I know the truck's going to be loud. Let me turn that down here. Because it's hopefully that's a little bit lower. Yeah, that sounds hopefully better for you guys. But yeah, I did all the de deco foliage on this map. 
uh, which didn't take as long as I thought it would. Um, I've kind of gotten a new method to doing this, and it's super easy for me to do. It doesn't take too long. Um, so this map has one road. It has one, one main road. It's this gravel road here. It comes from the co-op all the way through the main farm and then up and intersects another kind of access road to get to other fields. Um, I should probably show you guys the PDA. That might help. So up here, this map has roughly, I believe, 21 fields, 29, it's 29 fields here. Um, here's the PDA here, farmlands. Um, some fields are clumped together. I would have liked to have um, changed this big farmland around. Uh, I, I don't think I ever brought that up, but and this is the one thing I wish I would have done. But other than that, everything else is pretty much seems right to me. Uh, some of the other farmlands, farmlands are, you know, wrong or different. So I believe those will work out perfectly for you guys. And so the co-op is in the top right. The main farm is kind of there in the center. If you look, I don't actually have my mouse for some reason. Main farm's down here. We'll, uh, we'll get to that. And there is, I would say, at least two locations to build a farm if you want it to on this map. And then, other than that, this map is more so known for its fields. Let me zoom out here so you guys can actually see. But yeah, so this map is known for its fields. There's, uh, I believe there's, there's some hidden ones, and then there's some that are just in plain view. Um, you have one nice big field here, here by the co-op. And then you have several over on my right. And this is what I would consider the first location that you could build on. Nothing huge. But you could come in in GE, remove those trees, or even in game you can remove them. And then put in just a small little farm here if you wanted to. And there are plenty of ponds around this map. Um, there's plenty of waterways and things like that. That was one thing about this map that Swatch was telling me about back in 17. I never really played this map, but uh, he was telling me one of the biggest things about this map are the ditches, the culverts, the uh, kind of the waterways that are built into this map um, that made it feel very different than that of anything else at the time. And to some part, I definitely agree with him. Uh, very reminiscent of what they did on Westby, if I'm not, if I'm honest. Um, I don't know if Tired and MB ran with the idea this map brought or what it was you know, cross a small little stream there and then you come over you kind of came come into the uh, the main kind of farm I would say where you're gonna start off when you uh, start on this map you've got a couple fields here on my left and then you've got a grass field and a couple other things I uh, for the first time ever this map actually has grass fields on it where you can actually fertilize it. Um, I, I kind of found that weird through FS19 and FS17, the fact that no one ever bothered to paint down the, uh, the grass fields. But I fixed that, and then I, uh, I did some work on the main farm, though this was really uh, Squatch and JMF. So all the buildings got uh, normal map 10 along with the roof. To bring them up to FS22 quality. Uh, still not perfect, but updated the inside texture two of the wood. I, I thought the yellow wood was a little too much for my eyes, so I changed that texture around. And this here is a pasture that you can put cows in. It holds, I believe, 750. Now that is not a, um, a size that you guys have to use. Swatch put that in just as a ridiculous number, so you wouldn't go over carrying capacity, you'd have plenty of room. He says maybe 50 to 100 is about where you want it. So that's what I would do. Then you have a freestall over here. Um, I don't remember how many this holds. This has the, uh, the stuff set up for the grazing mod, so does the pasture. So this map does support the, uh, the grazing mod. I believe it also supports Maze Plus for the most part. Well, I guess any map supports Maze Plus generally, but this one should not have a conflict with Maze Plus. And I believe you fill this one from the loading chute. There's a loading chute over there. And then I don't know about the pasture. I have not messed with it. Um, 
I'm sure it's probably the gate there in that field. Uh, to access it would probably be the best bet. And then you have, if we, if we zoom up here, you've got one shed over there, and then three other storage sheds on the side, and then a shop. We'll come over here. And it's nothing's changed. It's still the same as it was in uh, 22, or not 22, in 17. Um, we didn't do a whole lot. I just did some texture changes on the map. I, uh, I found that with most converts, the problem is that people go too far and change too much. Um, at least in my opinion, it always seems like the way it is. People just change too much on a map for it to be the same map. So I did my best to keep this map as original as possible without uh, sacrificing some of the quality for 22. So it's not perfect. I don't think it's the quality of some of my other maps or even some of the maps released. But it's something that you guys can play and have fun on. Um, it works perfectly fine. I just think some things uh, could do with some updating. Um, but yeah, No Creek, I am probably one of the biggest critics of No Creek. I just, I never liked the map. So I'm sure a lot of people will just love this map and be happy to have it back. Um, I just, again, it's not my favorite thing in the world. I, other than that, I restored this field to the way it was in 17, at least from what Squatch was telling me with the, uh, the terraces like they are there. Um, I believe someone in 19, whoever did the convert then, uh, put the, the field over it and made it so that they were plowed over for some reason. I'm not too sure why they did that. I'm back here. It's just more access to, uh, more farms or more farmland. We'll, uh, we'll come down here. I should mention, now that I think about it, didn't even cross my mind. The I moved the buy point for your vehicles back behind that shed like it was in 17. So when you buy a vehicle, that's where that's going to show up if you're not using the, uh, the store deliveries. And I did as much uh, kind of returning to original as I could um, at the advice of Squatch and JMF. I think those two... At least Squatch, for sure, um, knew a lot about the map. He had done a, I don't want to say convert, but an edit in um, 19 to the map. So he was really the person I asked most of my questions to. Am I going to the right place? Uh, this tells you how much I know this map. You sh I thought there was a, a crossing down here. Um... Maybe it's down this way. We'll head out this way and see if we can cross. And then we'll kind of head back up, back towards the farm. We'll take a left here. But there's plenty of farmland on this map, and the ditches are really nice. Um, they're definitely not perfect, but I don't think any ditch in real life is perfect either. So they work out nice. Um, there we go. Here's the road I was thinking of. So we'll hop back on here, and we'll come through the woods here, and kind of pop out on the other side. But this, uh, this creek crossing is still the way it was. Um, I did some messing with water watercolor on this map. So I've always thought the, the light blue that Giants does is way too much. So I, uh, I made a kind of a murky brown for the rivers and then the, uh, the ponds are kind of a greenish color to be more real realistic to real life. Um, is it that way or is it? I think it's right. I'm trying to remember how to get out of here. And yeah, this map is, I think, has its greatest strength in the ability to just kind of go back in the middle of the woods and kind of farm in the middle of nowhere. You really get lost in this map. So if I bring up the HUD here, let me turn on my HUD so you guys can actually see it. Uh, course play is turned on for some reason actually yeah so we are right here and we were at the farm here so you we came up here past field eight and down through here into 24 and we came over so we we covered a lot of ground just from going from the main farm over to here and there, there are a couple fields up that way but i don't think i need to show every field i'm just trying to give you guys a 
basic view. And we'll head down this road here. So I'm not crazy about the border trees. Actually, those aren't mine. Those are the original ones from the map. I don't know. I don't care so much anymore for the trees being scrunched up on the border. But I don't think there's much I can do about that one. I think I'll let you guys decide what you want, and you can uh, change it however you like. Now, coming through here, this road is your primary access for all these fields back in here. That's really all it does. It serves as a way to get to, the, to these fields. Come around here, and then we'll hit the, uh, there's a gravel road down this way. I'm trying to see where I'm going here. It's a little hard. Um, let me, I can't really zoom out. I've got a face full of tree there. So there's not much I can show you on the left, but there is a pretty view if you look out this way to where you can see from your vehicle all the way up to the main farm which sits up on a hill I always thought that was kind of neat about this map I did rework the actual outside distance border as well this you see back in here I changed that around to be my kind of mixture of I believe it's Colmsden's uh, uh, distance and then also Kind of a uh, hilly distance that I created on Mossy Glen. I just think that looks good. I uh, I know it's not going to be perfect for the area, but I don't know. I just like it. I'm sure some people would probably prefer the old one. But I want to do something different. I didn't want to do the same thing over and over again. And kind of have a boring scenery. I, uh, I don't know. I always try and make a map pretty, so... That's what I uh, attempted to do here, and we'll see see if you guys like it or not. I uh, This is what I was talking about with the trees there on the border. I'm not sure if I love them. I almost prefer it without them. I'm, I'm really not sure. And we'll head back up towards the farm. So our other, um, what I would call build point or where you could build your build your farm would be right here um, it is very hilly that is my one thing to say about this one but if you want it to that's where I would put one and we'll head back uh, we'll go past farm and we'll head to oh we'll head up and just go follow this road all the way up to the very end this is your pasture field here by the farm um, it, I believe it, I believe the, uh, the pasture is that entire area there from the tree line over to the fence line there at the farm. So there's plenty of grass there. I am in the ditch. There's plenty, plenty of grass for those cows to eat. Uh, I don't think you'll ever run out. And then this road just takes you to a couple more fields here. Which I think if you were to put a farm back in here in this field or even this one at the end here wouldn't be a bad idea either um, I do like this little area here great for taking photos let me turn around and we'll zip back to the farm and we'll talk a little bit more about what else is on this map so I forgot to mention that there is silage corn on this map so you guys can do silage corn like Leona like uh, Mossy Glen there is also um, I believe squash mate so you can paint short grass and medium grass which is this grass here and the, the short grass is what I used on the main farm yard if you guys ever want to build something I think that would be helpful and I wish I had the change luck next to me but I don't this map has a bunch of other little changes that Squatch and JMF did um, but the primary ones were new foliage um, new pasture, uh, fix the, uh, the free stall a little, uh, fix the bunker, uh, got rid of the 1.4 million poly bins at the co-op, so hopefully the FPS there is going to be better for you guys on lower end PCs, um, and there's a couple other things, uh, there's a whole change log, and the link in the description will be to my uh, my itch page which when there's a download there that will lead you to Swatch's itch page where you will download the map 
Um, I we decided to let Swatch host it. I think he he wanted a re, a release for to start off his itch. We kind of said would let him have this one, and uh, yeah, it was really his brainchild. So and that's kind of where that's ended up. So if you go to my itch, and it'll take you to a link to Squ Swatch's new itch page where you can download the map. I'm not sure if he's going to do a map preview. Uh, I just kind of did this real quick, kind of dirty. Um, it's been about 20 minutes, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later. I've been Large H. Uh, happy farming, and uh, I hope you guys are having a good day. Goodbye.